in this chapter, I want to go through the creation and assigning of a data disk onto an Azure VM. So normally the Azure virtual machine will have an OS disk in place. This is required for the operating system. But if you want to have another data disk in which you want to add data, you want to install an application, we can go ahead and add that data disk. Now, when you look at the process of adding a disk onto a VM, it's quite simple. So what you need to do is you first need to go on to all resources and here you need to create a new managed disk. So here you search for managed disk. Hit on create. Here I'll choose the same resource group. Here I'll give a disk name. So this is in the same location as the Azure virtual machine. No available zone, no source type in the size. Let me just change the size. Let's choose 16 gigs. Hit on OK. Won't do anything here. No networking, no advance. Go on to tags, go on to review and create. And let me go ahead and hit on create to create this managed disk. Let's wait till this is complete. Once we have the managed disk in place, so if I go on to all resources, so I can see that I should be having now my disk also in place. Let me hit on refresh. So here I can see now my data disk. This is a separate resource on Azure. Now you have to go on to your virtual machine. You have to go on to your disk. Here you need to attach an existing disk. You can also create and attach a new disk. So I can do attach existing disk. Here I can give the existing data disk. Here I can keep the LUN, that's, that is the logical unit number. This helps to identify the series of this. So I'll leave it as zero and then I can hit on save. So when you're having data disk, it's a two step process. First, you need to create the data disk and then you need to update the Azure VM with the data disk. Once the VM has the data disk, then on your Azure virtual machine. So if I open up file explorer, if I go on to this PC, currently I can only see the OS disk, which is the C drive. And there is temporary storage that is assigned onto the Azure VM. This is actually part of the deployment of the Azure virtual machine. We still can't see that 16 gigs of disk. So this temporary storage is not related to that 16 gigs of data disk that we just added. There's something else. This is temporary storage. So in order to actually assign or create a volume out of that data disk, you have to go on to file and storage services. You have to go on to your disk. And here you can see that 16 gig additional disk. Now I'm not going to do anything here. What I'll do is let me remove this disk. Let me click on save. So let's now perform this process via the use of Terraform. Then let me go ahead and delete the data disk. Let me hit on delete. Now let's go on to our Terraform configuration file. So here I'm just going to paste in the code. So one is the creation of the managed disk. This is a separate resource. This is the name I'm giving onto the resource. This is the name I'm giving onto the disk. Again, the location and the resource group. You can leave the storage account type as standard underscore LRS. The create option just mentioned that we want to create an empty disk and this is the disk size. And then we have to attach the data disk onto the Azure virtual machine. For this, we have to use another resource. And here I'm just giving a name for this. Here we need to give what is the ID. So how do we get the ID? It's basically this resource type dot the data disk and then the ID. So the ID is the additional property for the data disk. 
And then we want the virtual machine ID. So this is Azure RM underscore Windows underscore virtual machine. Now, what is the name that we gave for our VM? So we need to take this. I'll scroll on down to make sure it reflects the correct virtual machine ID or the virtual machine resource and dot ID because we need the virtual machine ID and what is the logical unit number. And obviously this depends upon the creation of the Azure VM. It also depends upon the creation of the data disk as well. So let me ensure that we have the managed disk dot the data disk. So let me just save this. If I go on to Azure, I can see I don't have my data disk in place. Now let's run the plan. Now what I've gone ahead and done is I've already generated the plan and I've, I'm now running that plan. So let's wait till this is complete. So I can see the resources are in place. So if I go on to my Azure virtual machine, yeah, if I go on to the disk, I can see my data disk in place. Now, when I go back on to my Azure VM in the disk in file and storage services in task, let me rescan the storage. So it will reflect our new data disk. Then here I can create a new volume. I'll assign a drive letter, give a name onto the volume. And let me hit on create. I can hit on close. And here I can see my new volume in place. So I just want to show you how you can add data disks onto an Azure VM via the use of Terraform.